Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Cherokee Special Blend Non-Filtered Cigarettes which I am looking forward to trying and giving you guys a review of because I have had a pretty good experience with the Cherokee brand before. They're a budget brand of cigarettes that is a little bit difficult to find in my area, but the experience that I had previously really did honestly show me that Cherokee really is a fantastic budget brand of cigarettes. So as such, I am just so excited to try the non-filter variety of Cherokees, that is for sure. As said though, Cherokee as a brand, from my personal experience at least, has been really solid. However, they're pretty difficult to find in my area if I do say so myself. You can every once in a while find their most common varieties in some smoke shops, but more so than not, you don't really see Cherokees very often. And when I do see Cherokees, I definitely do not see this variety right here. I didn't even know that they sold non-filtered Cherokee cigarettes until I got sent this by Fred Scott. So, you know, thank you very much to Fred Scott for sending this pack of cigarettes over to my P.O. Box for me to review. I really, really, really do appreciate it. I've never seen this variety of Cherokee cigarettes before in my area. And so I am just so excited to try, well, Cherokee's unfiltered cigarette. And I will admit, budget unfiltered cigarettes are something that is not super common inside the United States. Most uh, common uh, non-filtered or unfiltered cigarettes within the United States tend to be higher end cigarettes, more like in my area, eight to nine dollars kind of thing. They tend to be a little bit pricey and this is by no means that pricey. So as such, I am looking forward to seeing how a budget unfiltered cigarette lines up against more expensive ones. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and well, tell you guys my expectations for well, this pack of cigarettes right here. What are my expectations for well, the Cherokee Special Blend non-filtered cigarettes? Well, if I had to guess taste wise, I am thinking that these are probably going to have a sweeter taste than not. Not a super intense sweet tobacco taste by any means, just a more mild one, but I am thinking that they're gonna have a more sweet taste than not that is for sure. And then I'm also thinking that there will be very little additive to taste as well. Although I don't want to say that 100%, there might be some additive to taste, but I'm thinking there's definitely going to be very little additive to taste if there is any at all from this pack of cigarettes right here. I'm thinking body wise, the body is probably going to be absolutely massive. This is a well unfiltered cigarette after all. So of course the body is going to be pretty dang big. If I do say so myself, I'm thinking the airflow is going to be pretty wide open. I'm thinking the draw is going to be pretty good, although slightly constricted by the airflow because these are uh, well non-filtered cigarettes. And I think it's going to get more more open as it gets towards the end of the cigarette because, well, this is an unfiltered cigarette after all. And then I'm thinking that roughness and smoothness wise, these are probably not going to be the harshest cigarettes in the world, but I by no means think they're going to be smooth by, well, any means that is for sure. Those are pretty much my expectations for, well, the Cherokee Special Blend non-filtered cigarettes. Now, without further ado, I do think it is time for me to go ahead and, well, hop right into the packaging of, well, this pack of cigarettes right here. After I go over the packaging, I'm going to go ahead and get the cellophane all off. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, and what the quality them is like. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get one of the Cherokee Special Blend non-filtered cigarettes all it up and go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think of, well, these cigarettes right here. But first off, as said, we got to go ahead and go over the packaging. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Cherokee logo itself. We could just see it just says Cherokee right here and a very, very, very nice sort of, I'd have to say, beigey brown text. But that's not all there is to the logo. There is under the beigey brown text, a black drop shadow. And then under the black drop shadow, there is a yellow drop shadow. And then under the yellow drop shadow, there is another black drop shadow. That's right. There are four layers. Sorry, I guess not technically four layers. There are three layers of drop shadows on this logo right here. That's absolutely ludicrous. And it kind of gives it a little bit of like a 3D sort of look kind of thing. Not a bad look at all. And a look that I do like quite a bit. I don't know how well you guys can really see on camera, but in person, it's a pretty decent look if I do say so myself. Above the logo right here, we could just see it just says special blend right here in black, except for the first letters of both words, which we can see are in that sort of like 
and beigey brown, I definitely have to say. And then moving on below that text right here, we can see there is a Native American with a crown of feathers right here. We see some red, some blue. We see some like uh, sort of like beige right here and everything like that kind of thing. We see some navy blue, uh, all those uh, different colors and the crown of feathers and everything like that kind of thing. A pretty good look if I do say so myself. And he's got sort of a uh, border that kind of fades out going around him, I'd have to say, as there's sort of a black border going around him that sort of fades out very quickly as it gets away from him. And then below him, we can just see that it just says in brown, made in USA. Well, I'd certainly hope so. If these are branded as Cherokee cigarettes, I certainly hope they're made in the USA, that is for sure. And then below that, on a sort of really crappy looking wood grain background, we can see in white, it just says non-filter right there, which is of course the main part of the cigarette that I'm really, really, really interested in. The non-filter text has a little bit of a, a sort of a, a border that sort of fades out going around it, but it's not super significant by any means. And this is on, as said, a sort of really crappy wood grain sort of background that we can see on the top of the packaging as well. Now that wood grain background does not stretch all the way around the top of the packaging, but it does stretch all the way around the bottom of the packaging. So you can technically say that the design for this pack of cigarettes right here stretches all the way around the packaging to some extent at least, but I'll be frank, I don't really like how this wood grain looks, and uh, yeah, I'm just not really a fan. I think it looks tacky. I think it looks not very good. It looks like, it, the, the, honestly, this pack of cigarettes would actually look a lot better, in my opinion, without the wood grain, and if they just made this all look a little bit, I think they could make it look so much better, but right now, honestly, because of the crappy PNG wood grain look, it honestly makes this look like a budget brand of cigarettes. I don't know if that's what they were going for kind of thing. They could have very well been going for a budget brand of cigarettes. Look, hey, I have got no issues with that kind of thing, but I definitely do think this could look a lot better. And um, I'm really not a big fan of the, uh, <laughs> I'm really not a big fan of the PNG wood grain look that is for sure that we see on the top of the, and the bottom. But here's the thing, we don't just see it on the top of the bottom. We just see the wood grain look in normal wood grain colors on the top and the bottom. Here's the thing, the background for the entire front of the packaging in the middle right here also has that wood grain look, except it's in white and sort of a very, 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 a light yellow, I definitely have to say. I don't know how well you guys can see it on camera, but it is definitely there. It's sort of a wood grain look in white and sort of a really, really, really light yellow. And I don't really think it's the worst look for an actual background kind of thing. And honestly, I think I would have much rather had them just keep that same background for the entire packaging instead of having these sort of borders try to go around and everything like that kind of thing. Um, but but yeah, no, I'm not really super impressed by this packaging, I will admit. I'm not really a particularly big fan of it. I really do think it looks like a budget brand of cigarettes. And while that is by no means a bad thing, I just think that this could look a lot better. The sort of wood grain makes it look tacky kind of thing. I'm not really a fan. Um, this this pack of cigarettes, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those crappy, like 1980s, like wood grain rooms where the ceiling, the, the, the floors, the walls are all the exact same, like dark wood grain. And you go in it and you feel like you're going to go crazy. And you go, you go in one of those rooms and you feel like you're going to go crazy because no matter which way you look, you're just looking at wood grain and it's terrible kind of thing. Everything is the same color all the way around the closets made out of wood grain. The bed is the exact same wood grain. It's all, it's terrifying kind of thing. <laughs> it's like my worst fear is living in one of those rooms kind of thing. I hate those rooms. And this really does remind me of that. That. This sort of wood grain reminds me of that wood grain and it makes it look so tacky. It makes it look like it's right out of the 80s. I hate it. I really am not a big fan of what they did with this packaging. Now, it's, now, now I do want to um, acknowledge that I don't hate this packaging kind of thing. There are aspects to this packaging that I do like. I do like the Cherokee logo. I do like the design right here. I like the text font they used and everything like that kind of thing. But everything other than that, I'm not really a super big fan of. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, we can just see right here, I almost missed. Of course, since this is a soft pack of cigarettes, this has a little label going over and across and everything like that kind of thing. And we could just see on the front right here, it just says 20 Class A cigarettes in black with a little bit of a black border going all the way around there. Although I'm not gonna show you guys what's on the top of the packaging quite yet as I gotta cover that later on in the video. But what are my overall thoughts on the front of this packaging? Is it distinct from a distance? I'd actually have to say it is more distinct than not from a distance. Definitely the Native American wearing the crown of thorns on the front of the packaging definitely does a good job. That design definitely does a good job of making this a lot more distinct than not from a distance. And the Cherokee logo itself, while it might not be the most eye-catching from a distance, definitely the logo, the, definitely the design is what's eye-catching and then you can just kind of read it from a distance and everything like that kind of thing. It definitely is more eye-catching than not 
but I do think it could be more eye-catching. But I will admit, having seen other Cherokee packs before, those packs are a little bit more uh, eye-catching just simply because they use more color. This is a little bit bland looking, if I do say so myself, which is why it's less eye-catching in my personal opinion. But it's by no means bad packaging. That is not distinct at all from a distance kind of thing. This is definitely more distinct than not from a distance, although it's just not the most eye-catching piece of packaging in the world. But it doesn't really need to be because the other Cherokee cigarettes can do that for, well, this pack of cigarettes. But as I'm sure you guys can tell, I'm not really the biggest fan of this packaging. Not a super big fan by any means kind of thing. I by no means think it's uh, terrible packaging, but it's uh, definitely below average in my personal opinion. I hate the wood grain. That's my main complaint. I hate the wood grain. You know, if they just got rid of the wood grain, I could be, I'd be perfectly fine with everything. I hate the wood. <laughs> Why is there wood grain on a pack of cigarettes? I hate it. I hate it. Uh, well, that's pretty much all I have to say about the front of the packaging. Let's go ahead and move on to the back of the packaging. We see the back of the packaging is quite literally exactly the same as the front. There are quite literally no differences at all between the front and the back of the packaging. Even this guy right here is facing the exact same way. There are no differences at all. Moving on to this side of the packaging right here, we can just see it just says underage show prohibited in black, except for the first letter for all of these words right here. USP is all in brown instead of the black that we can see right there, but it does indeed just say underage show prohibited. And then we can just see the Surgeon General warning right here, which just says smoking by pregnant women may result in fetal injury, premature birth, and low birth weight. Well, thankfully, I don't need to worry about that because I ain't a pregnant woman, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Uh, now, one thing that I do want to note about the uh, side of the packaging, and I see why they did it on this side right here, is that the sort of um, yellow and white wood grain does not stretch over to the other side of the packaging kind of thing. Now, I understand why they didn't do that on this side because of the Surgeon General warning and everything like that kind of thing, because I mean, like, hey, you want to make sure you're not going to get any legal trouble with the federal government or anything like that kind of thing. You want to make sure you don't disrupt people's viewing of the Surgeon General warning right here. There's got to be something against the law about that. But here's the thing. On the other side of the packaging, it's the exact same way. They could have definitely had this go all the way over to this side of the packaging right here, but they didn't. And honestly, that is a little bit of a complaint on my behalf, but it is what it is kind of thing. It's no biggie. This still stretches all the way around, so it is what it is kind of thing. But it would have been nice if the sort of wood grain, yellow, white look had stretched all the way around the packaging as well. Uh, but it is what it is. Nothing, nothing I can do about it. Nor is nor nor should really anything be done in all honesty. What's done is done, and I'm just going to have complaints on my behalf either way. Um, but really, that's just a very minor complaint on my behalf. Much more minor than um, wood grain. <laughs> I hate wood grain, as I'm sure you guys can tell. Uh, taking a look at this side of the packaging, though, we can just see it just says Cherokee right there. Basically, just a smaller version of the uh, logo that is on the front of the packaging, although it is exactly the same as the one that's on the front of the packaging, except for the fact that it is smaller. Then we could just see the Native American wearing the crown of feathers right there. And then below both of these uh, little things right here, we could just see that there is some text in black. It just says Made in USA right there. And then it just says Cherokee Tobacco Company, LLC, South Boston, Virginia, 24592, exclusive of distribu distributor TPVA15004 and that's all it says in black right there and then we can of course see the barcode right here and then of course we can see that these are indeed FSC compliant as all cigarettes are required to be if they're sold in the United States after 2012 and uh, that's pretty much all there is to every side of the packaging moving on to the bottom of the packaging we can just see it just says Cherokee non-filter kings right there this is indeed a king size pack of cigarettes after all so it makes sense why they put kings on there I wonder if they make a short size that would be very interesting to see I ain't gonna lie but it does just say non-filter kings right there in black and then the Cherokee logo right here is exactly the same as the one we would see on the front of the packaging no differences or anything like that all of the drop shadows are exactly the same it's just slightly smaller and then moving on to the top of the packaging and this is all on a, a white background moving on to the top of the packaging we can just see gold on this side gold on this side the uh soft pack foil is gold which is very unique I will admit that's not something you see super often and then we can just see it just says made in USA right there in black overlaid over a grayed out Native American wearing uh the crown of feathers design kind of thing so certainly no complaints might be half a pretty good look if i do say so myself we can see black border black border on that side but this is all in a white background and we just see made in usa made in usa on either side kind of thing and um yeah that's uh pretty much all there is to the packaging i will admit i'm not really the biggest fan of this packaging it definitely does look like a budget pack of cigarettes to me it's not the most distinct from a distance it doesn't have the best look up close uh but it's certainly not the worst look either but i do definitely think it is um more below average than not uh just looking at it a little bit more kind of thing yeah i'm not it's not like super below average kind of thing i've definitely seen worse packs of cigarettes but the uh, the wood grain is pissing me off i hate wood grain bro i hate wood grain i hate wood grain on cars i hate wood grain in 
houses. The only wood grain that is okay is hardwood floor. That's the only wood grain that's okay. That's okay. And it depends on the hardwood floor. I hate some hardwood, hardwood floors too. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the wood grain, I will admit. But other than that, the packaging is really not all that bad kind of thing. It is more distinct from a distance than not. So uh, I really can't hate on it too much kind of thing. I really can't hate on it too much. Um, but it definitely is slightly below average um, packaging in my personal opinion. Uh, but it's by no means the worst packaging I've ever seen. Uh, but it is definitely going to be getting a slightly below average rating just for the packaging. Um, but what matters about a cigarette isn't really the packaging. It's the actual smoking experience itself. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes all opened up. And then let's go ahead and get the uh, one of the cigarettes out and go ahead and take a look at what the cigarettes look like, what they feel like, and what the quality quality of them is like. And here's the packaging without any cellophane on it. And I will admit, without any cellophane on it, honestly, it does look a little bit better. This has so much tobacco in it. I'm going to shove that in my backpack, but I already know I'm just going to have so much tobacco getting inside inside my backpack. But that is what it is. I'm going to go and just try to scrape off all of this tobacco. There is so much tobacco on the outside of this pack. Wow. I hope the tobacco is not like leaking out everywhere. Oh, wow. I think the tobacco is... Oh, wow, yeah, the tobacco is kind of leaking out everywhere. Okay, well, yeah, this uh, pack of cigarettes definitely <laughs> leaks tobacco a little bit, that is for sure. Um, so it's definitely not the highest quality pack of cigarettes in the world. It's definitely leaking tobacco, but it's a soft pack of cigarettes. Um, so that is kind of to be expected a little bit, that is for sure. Um, but taking a look at the pack of cigarettes without the cellophane on, honestly, I do, I do really think it is a better look. I think it did definitely look a little bit worse um, with the cellophane on. And honestly, that's usually how it goes. With the cellophane off, packs of cigarettes tend to look a little bit better. And then this definitely does look a little bit better in my personal opinion. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up. The quality of the soft pack is um, definitely about average for a soft pack in my opinion. It's not really super good. It's not really super bad either. It's uh, pretty much just the quality of a soft pack in all honesty. Most soft packs are pretty much all the same quality and uh, this one is no different. Let's go ahead and get one of the Cherokee I'm going to go and try to pull that off. There we go. Let's go and get one of the Cherokee Special Blend non-filtered cigarettes all out, though, and go and take a look at what they look like, what they feel like, and what the quality of them is like. And oh my god, I completely forgot to do one very important thing. I was going to pack these, and I completely forgot to do that. They smell really good, though. All right, I'm going to go and try to pack them real quick. Because with unfiltered cigarettes, I'm trying to pack it so it all gets in the middle kind of thing. That's my goal. All right. I should have really... Oh, my God. I've got tobacco. No joke. Let me just stand up, y'all. Look at how much tobacco... I don't know if y'all can see that. I have so much tobacco on me right now. So much tobacco is falling out of the pack of cigarettes. That is absolutely nuts. I don't know if that's actually how the cigarettes... Um, I don't know if that's because the cigarettes were actually... Um, made that way kind of thing or if it's uh just simply because they were shipped to me kind of thing um but either way yeah there's a lot of tobacco falling out of this pack of cigarettes i ain't gonna lie um but without further ado now that i've packed the cigarettes a little bit which hopefully will help with um them smoking i'm gonna go ahead and get one of these cigarettes out and go and let you guys know what they look like what they feel like and what the quality of them is like and um yeah, there's no logo on these at all. This is a, wow, well, this is, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Uh, it's a completely blank unfiltered cigarette. <laughs> I've seen completely blank, um, normal cigarettes before with, uh, like cork style filters. I've seen cork style filter cigarettes. I've seen white filter cigarettes with no logos on them at all or anything like that kind of thing. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen an unfiltered cigarette with literally no logo on it. Just looking at it, it's just white paper. There is no logo on this cigarette at all, which is honestly a little bit nuts. I ain't gonna lie. It really is a little bit nuts. But taking a look at the cigarette, it's not bad quality by any means. It's just a tube of paper with tobacco inside. You know what I'm saying? Uh, taking a look at the blend of the tobacco on the inside, I'd have to say it is a... Uh, medium, I'd have to say a medium to dark blend. Uh, there is a little bit of light in there, which is why I'm saying medium, but I definitely have to say it's definitely a darker blend than not, that is for sure. Let's just go ahead and smell the cigarette right off the bat. And yeah, it smells pretty good, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna smell the inside of the packaging as well. And yeah, from the inside of the packaging, I'm getting a really nice, inhaled a piece of tobacco. Oh no, I can't believe I just inhaled a piece of tobacco. But the inside of the packaging smells really good. It smells like sweeter um, tobacco, if I do say so myself. Maybe with like a slight nutty sweetness to it or something like that kind of thing. Although, 
not really, not really a nutty sweetness, just sort of a really nice mild tobacco sweetness if I do say so myself. And man, that diesel be sounding really good, I ain't gonna lie. I love me a good old diesel and that diesel be sounding good. What is that? That's a, is that a first gen? I'm not, I'm not a big Dodge person, I will admit. Could that have a 12 valve in it? That's a nice bucket truck though, I ain't gonna lie. It is a nice bucket truck. I want to put me a diesel in one of my cars. I want to, I want to put me a diesel in my Suburban. I got a Suburban. I want to put a diesel in it. Put a 12 valve in it. Not with a fuel pump though. I want the early 12 valves. No fuel pump. But um, smelling this cigarette right off the bat. Getting back on track. That was a nice truck though. Yeah. Mild. Mild sort of a sweet tobacco smell from these. I can't really pin any undertones to this. It doesn't really have like sort of a nutty undertone. If I was gonna say any undertone to this cigarette, I'd actually have to say sort of a, a very mild dark chocolate undertone. But I don't wanna say that 100%. I don't know if I'm gonna taste that, but um, I'm looking forward to finding out that is for sure. Um, but I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and get this cigarette right here, the Cherokee what? Special Blend Non-Filtered Cigarette all it up and now it's time for me to go ahead and let you guys know how these cigarettes actually are what they actually taste like what they actually feel like and what they are actually like kind of thing i'm looking forward to finding out i ain't gonna lie i'm definitely i definitely got a little bit off track uh, a minute ago i think i might give myself a moment actually until i get my cigarette all lit up because i got myself so off track looking at that, that truck let me just uh, take a little bit of a sip of water real quick And the wind is definitely picking up as well. All right, there we go. I'm feeling much better now. Feeling much better now that I took a sip of water. I definitely got a little bit off track, that is for sure. Um, but without further ado, I do think it is now time for me to go ahead and get one of the special blend Cherokee non-filtered cigarettes, all it up, and to go ahead and let you guys know what they're actually like. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this cigarette all lit up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. As long as I actually can with the wind going as, as, as much as it is. I'd have to say right off the bat, the taste I'm getting from these is really, really, really nice. I'm not getting any sort of additive taste by any means right now or anything like that kind of thing. It's just a really nice, sort of more sweet than not tobacco taste. Although there is something else going in there as well, but I'm gonna have to take another couple of hits to really determine what's going on. Let's go and test the body though. Body is um, not the biggest, actually. I think that might be because I did indeed pack these cigarettes quite a bit, if I do say so myself. They are definitely quite firm in the middle and they get looser towards the ends. So it definitely makes sense why the body was a little bit smaller than you might expect from an unfiltered cigarette. But the body was very dense. There was 100% only smoke in that body. So it was a very, very, very dense body as to be expected from an unfiltered cigarette. I'd have to say, the airflow, even with me packing the cigarette though, is not bad at all, although it is a little bit constricted due to me packing. And I'd also have to say that the draw uh, has a little bit of constrictedness to it just simply because I pack the cigarettes as well, but that's by no means a bad thing. And that's where the main significance of the cigarettes are coming from, along with the roughness from these cigarettes as well. Although, these, although um, I'm getting more jolt jumbled up, as these do have a pleasant roughness in your throat, I definitely have to say. So yeah, I have to say that the main significance from these cigarettes right here is coming from both the roughness and from the draw of the cigarettes themselves. No complaints on my behalf. Testing the body one more time. That was much better, I ain't gonna lie. All that was a much bigger body to be expected from an unfiltered cigarette. This cigarette is burning pretty quickly as well. Definitely not the slowest burning cigarette in the world by any means, but I'm not tasting any sort of added taste or anything like that kind of thing. It's tasting pretty good as a whole if I do say so myself. But what is the taste actually like? I still need to determine what the taste is actually like. I'd have to say the taste is actually a lot more interesting than not. And it's not quite what I was expecting. 
it does have a mild sweetness to it. But then there's also sort of a mild spice coming from the roughness and a mild sort of tanginess coming from the tobacco taste itself as well. This sort of has a... Surprisingly interesting taste to it. Ah. That was not a good spit, I ain't gonna lie. Got a little bit of tobacco in my mouth. But, yeah, these do have a surprisingly interesting taste to them, I will admit. Yeah. I'm gonna go and take another hit and try to actually determine what the taste is like. So yeah, I'd have to say, the taste of these cigarettes, it's sort of a sweet and sour taste. It is, it is very much an American blend of cigarettes, and so no surprise that it is both sweet and sour. But both the sweet and the sour have a very, very, very nice taste to them. I wouldn't really say there's many undertones going on. Um, it is, this is very much a, a more... This, this doesn't really have a lot going on in the, in the back kind of thing. It doesn't really have a lot of undertones or anything like that kind of thing. Um, the taste is very much up in your face. This is very much an up in your face taste cigarette. And I'd have to say the taste overall, more so than not, is a sweet tobacco taste with a slight bit of almost lemon-like tang to it. <sighs> yeah. A sort of, yeah, I definitely have to say that's, a, that's about as accurate a description as I can say. Uh, it's sort of a, a sweet tobacco taste with almost a, like, sort of citrus-like tang to it as well. And I'd have to say the aftertaste from this cigarette is very much um, that sort of sweet with the lemon-like tang to it as well. The aftertaste you get from the cigarette is very much the taste you get from the cigarette kind of thing. You don't get an, a, a different aftertaste from the cigarette by any means. And I will admit, this is getting me a little bit buzzed. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. <sighs> but you know, I'd have to say, more so than not, these aren't bad cigarettes kind of thing. Would I buy them again? Um... Would I buy them again? Well, I didn't, I didn't buy this pack of cigarettes, but would I buy this pack of cigarettes with my own money? Um, I think I'd much rather still smoke a filtered cigarette, but more so than not, this is a pretty solid cigarette, if I do say so myself. That has a better taste than not, no added to taste at all, no added to taste from what I can tell at least, and um, yeah, no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. <sighs> yeah, a very up in your face, sort of sweet um, tobacco taste, yeah, very up-in-your-face sort of sweet tobacco taste with a little bit of lemon-like tang to it and sort of a hint of sort of a bitterness as well, almost like a dark chocolate bitterness, I'd have to say. Maybe if there's an undertone to the cigarette, it's sort of a bitter, like almost dark chocolate-like taste, but that could just be the placebo effect as the cigarettes I've been smoking lately, Nat Sherman uh, Cigarettellos, um, have a very similar sort of taste. Um, I'd have to say these are much more up in your face than the cigarettellos, but they sort of have a, a sort of almost dark chocolatey undertone to them, so that could very much be placebo, but I do feel like I am getting sort of a dark chocolate, almost bitter-like taste from these as well. But you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and take one more hit. And now I'm going to go ahead and stub this cigarette out and go ahead and let you guys know my final thoughts on the Cherokee Special Blend Non-Filtered Cigarettes. Is that all stubbed out? That is all stubbed out. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Um, but what are my overall thoughts on, well, these cigarettes right here, the Cherokee Special Blend Non-Filtered Cigarettes? Well, the taste is um, very up in your face, I will admit. You get a very up in your face sort of a very nice, sweet tobacco taste with an also up in your face undertone of sort of a citrus-like, almost tangy taste to it kind of thing. Um, but that sweet taste is very much the main taste you get from this cigarette right here, that is for sure. But I'd also, also, I'd also have to say there is a slight bit of sort of a dark chocolate, almost bitter undertone to these cigarettes right here, but it's not intense by any means. It's not intense by any means. It's not the entire taste. The main taste you get from these cigarettes is definitely that sort of um, very nice, sweet tobacco taste with the lemon-like lemon taste in there. And then below that, 
you get sort of an almost dark chocolate, almost bitter taste. A very, very, very nice, interesting tasting cigarette, if I do say so myself. The body was pretty nicely sized, if I do say so myself. Uh, the main significance of these cigarettes definitely came from the draw uh, and the airflow. The airflow was pretty good. The draw was pretty good as well, but the draw was slightly constricted due to me packing it, which became the most, um, which I'd have to say that, that the draw definitely became the most significant part of the cigarette when you're smoking this kind of thing. That was definitely the most significant part of the cigarette. Um, it definitely gave the cigarette some, I'm trying to think of the right word, it definitely gave the cigarette some significance and it definitely made the cigarette seem a little bit more heavy than not, that is for sure. But I also have to say there was some significance from a nice little bit of roughness in the back of my throat. But for an unfiltered cigarette, these are by no means super rough, if I do say so myself. Not a bad cigarette. And I definitely do think that if I was looking for a cheap, unfiltered cigarette again, and I saw these on the shelf, I think I would buy these with my own money in all honesty. There was no sort of additive taste or anything like that kind of thing, no sort of chemical taste or anything like that kind of thing. A very, very, very nice tasting but cheap cigarette if I do say so myself. Although I will admit they're not the highest quality cigarettes in the world. They are cheap cigarettes by all means but still not bad cigarettes by any means, in all honesty. And I think if you enjoy, uh, I'd have to say probably, I'd have to say honestly, comparable cigarettes to this cigarette right here, I'd have to say the, of course, Lucky Strike Camel Unfiltered are mildly comparable, of course. The Kentucky's Best uh, Unfiltered are uh, not really, the taste is a little bit different, um, but I'd have to say probably the most comparable taste-wise is probably actually the, Nat Sherman MCD, Nat Sherman Cigarettellos, uh, maybe the Havana Ovals as well. Um, the taste from these cigarettes is a lot more up in your face than those cigarettes, but I'd have to say the tanginess to them is, is very similar kind of thing. Um, but I'd have to say probably the most comparable cigarettes to these cigarettes right here is probably the Camel and Lucky Strike Unfiltered, with the Paul Mall Unfiltered tasting a little bit too different for me to really say they're super comparable. Um, but yeah, no, not bad cigarettes by any means. Thank you very much once again to Fred Scott for sending this pack of cigarettes over to my PO box for me to review. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Is there anything else I wanna say before I go ahead and give the Cherokee Special Blend non-filtered cigarettes a rating? Um, I don't think so, I don't think so. The taste was pretty good, the body was pretty good, the uh, draw, airflow, roughness, all very much not bad at all in all honesty. Uh, the packaging, not really the biggest fan in all honesty. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I wanted to say. I already talked about comparable cigarettes. Um, I will admit these are a more unique cigarette than not. Um, I've tasted cigarettes which taste comparable to them, that is for sure, although some of those cigarettes which taste comparable are not really coming to my head at the moment. But I feel like the ones I listed are more comparable than not, although none of the ones I listed are really super comparable by any means. These are definitely a uh, more unique cigarette than not, in all honesty. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. And definitely, as I said, a pack of cigarettes that I would definitely buy with my own money. What is the rating I'm thinking for? Well, the Cherokee Special Blend Non-Filtered Cigarettes, though. I'm thinking, whew, I'm thinking, I'm not really the biggest fan of the packaging, so it's not gonna be getting a super good rating for the packaging. It's definitely below average packaging in my opinion. But the cigarettes themselves for being what they are kind of thing, non-filtered cigarettes, unfiltered cigarettes, whatever you wanna call them kind of thing, are not exactly to my preference, but they're still, these, these are still pretty dang good cigarettes if I do say so myself. I'd have to say, I'm thinking probably a solid, hmm, I'm thinking a solid, what am I thinking? This is honestly kind of hard because they are good cigarettes, but I don't like the packaging and I would buy them again, but I'd much rather buy a filtered cigarette instead if I was gonna buy a pack of Cherokees again. All right, I'd buy them again. I definitely spend my own money on them because I didn't buy this pack of cigarettes right here. Um, I'd have to say I'm thinking a solid seven and a half out of 10. I think a solid seven and a half out of 10 is definitely very, very, very much um, a good rating for these cigarettes right here. 
I, uh, I would definitely buy these with my own money, but they're by no means my first pick. I'd much rather buy a filtered cigarette in all honesty. But if I was craving an unfiltered cigarette that was cheap, I would definitely buy these with my own money. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the packaging by any means, and they're not the highest quality cigarettes in the world, which definitely led into the rating I gave them, but not bad cigarettes at all in all honesty. The Cherokee Special Blend non-filtered cigarettes, pretty damn solid if I do say so myself. Surprisingly solid, I will admit. Surprisingly, you they have surprisingly a, uh, uh, they, they, I'm getting my words all jumbled up once again, whoops. Oh well. Um, they do have a surprisingly unique taste to them, I will admit, and a surprisingly um, good taste at that kind of thing, a unique taste that I really like that actually has undertones to it that I did not notice when I was taking the first couple hits surprisingly solid cigarettes if I do say so myself. More solid than I was thinking they would be at the beginning of this video. So now, I definitely do think the 7.5 out of 10 is definitely deserving for, well, these cigarettes right here, that is for sure. I think that's all I had to say. So as such, without further ado, I'm gonna go and end this video right here. Thank you very much for watching my review of the Cherokee uh, Special Blend Non-Filtered Cigarettes. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below go check it all out but you know thank you very much for watching y'all and if you guys know um anything else or if you guys know anything else i'm getting more jumbled jumble up again um i think what i was trying to say is i was, I was trying to say if you guys have uh, if you guys have tried um these cigarettes before let me know what y'all's thoughts are on them in the comments down below that's what i was trying to say if y'all know anything more about these than i know about them let me know in the comments down below as well though but um yeah thank you very much for watching y'all to the next one stay safe and peace and have a great one yes